I brand tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's finally here, the first feature update of the year, Windows 10, the May 2021 update, also known as Windows 10 21H1, has now finally arrived. It started rolling out yesterday on the 18th of May 2021, and I received mine this morning on the 19th of May 2021. Now, the update is not available to all at the moment. Um, it's on a controlled rollout. And if you've got a compatible device, um, basically what you can do, there are a couple of ways you can get Windows 10, the May 2021 update. And the first is, is obviously if you go to your settings, update and security. And you can see I'm ready to download feature update to Windows 10 version 21H1. And the next version of Windows is available with new features and security improvements. Now, this is an optional update and is only available at the moment for seekers. Now, what are seekers? Seekers are, like myself, what I did this morning is I went and I checked for updates. So I had to seek for the updates. So it's not available and, you know, it's not on a, on a, on a massive rollout at the moment to all devices. And it's mainly available to seekers. And then another way you can get the update um, if you don't see it on your device is you can just head over to the Microsoft website to the media creation tool to download Windows 10. And here we can also see now that the latest stable version has been updated to from 20H2 to Windows 10 May 2021 update. So this is now the latest stable version of the Windows 10 operating system. And then obviously you can use the update assistance um, to upgrade um, to the 20, um, May 2021 update. And you can also use the Windows Media Creation Tool if you don't have an option to install it at present if you would like to get it onto your system. And the, the, this uh, controlled rollout is basically dependent on a couple of things. And those are, you know, this includes your location, the hardware, and obviously your software compatibility. So if you are on version 20.04 and 20.H2, like I am, then you will be able to receive this update. If you are on 19.09, you will have to go to the media creation tool for the update assistant to install 21.H1, the May 2021 update, onto your system. And as I mentioned, if you want the update, you won't, it won't be downloaded and installed on the majority of devices automatically. You won't see it unless, as I say, you go and seek for it and you check for updates. And I want to get this update installed. I will get back to you later today just to let you know a little bit more in depth about what is, you know, what's going on with the update and a little bit more facts about um, Windows 10 21H1. So Windows 10 21H1 at the moment is rolling out. As I say, it's on a controlled rollout and you can use the Windows Update, the Media Creation Tool, or the Update Assistant to get the feature update. And of course, this is the first feature update of this year rolling out. And of course, the big one we're all waiting for is the second feature update rolling out in October or November later this year, which is Windows 10 21 H2, also known as the Sun Valley Update. So as I say, also, you don't have to install the update. It's, it's not mandatory. It's an um, optional update, and you only install it, obviously, if you want to upgrade to the latest stable version, which is Windows 10 version 21H1. So I will get back to you later in the day, and we can just dive a little bit more deeper into the May 2021 update. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.